comes courtesy of Wow Ebony. They sent over a beautiful bob wig. So I'm going to show you guys how I unbox it and slay it. Um, first of all, this is how it comes. They give you a beautiful info card that has all of their information on it as well as care instructions for your wig. They also gave you some nude wig caps. And they even give you the elastic you will need to secure your wig. Elastic bands just help to make the wig lay flat. I do have a tutorial link down below on how I use it. This is way more than enough. And this is the wig. It did come with stuffing and it came in a plastic bag, but I took that all out. Um, the wig is pre-parted. It is a 360 lace wig. Here I am cutting off the tag that came on it. And yeah, so it's a 360 lace wig, which means you can part it all the way around. You can wear it from ponytails and all of that. There are three combs in the front, one comb in the back, as well as adjustable straps. And this is the texture of the hair. It is a 14 inch straight bob. So I'm going to go ahead and bleach the knots. Um, this is how the hairline looks. Even though it's pre-parted, you can see that it has a natural hairline. I'm only going to be bleaching the knots where the parting is because I know I'm not going to switch up the parting on this one. Feel free to um, bleach the knots all the way around. And of course, if I decide to switch it up, I'll be able to go back and re-bleach the knots on the rest of the wig. And I'm just taking a 40 volume developer with some BW um, bleaching powder. I did add a few drops of purple um, semi-permanent hair dye from Miss Adore. And this is going to help it to not be as brassy. So I painted the um, bleach mixture on. I probably did like a 2x4 or 3x4. I don't even know, but it's like 2 or 3 inches across. Um, I did let it sit on for about 3 minutes and then I let it air dry overnight after washing it out and conditioning it. This is the results. I went ahead and added a elastic band off of camera. Now I'm going to take my flat iron and just flat iron the perimeter of the um, parting. So I want the parting to lay super flat. As you can see, the right side is flat iron and the left side is a little bit um, puffy. It's not bad, but if you want it to lay super flat and super sleek, this is a great way to lay down that hair. And this is what it looks like when I first put it on. I'm going to go ahead and perfect that parting. I'm just taking a rat tail comb and getting the parting as straight as possible. Now I'm going to take my flat iron and lay that down to make sure that the hair that I moved around does lay flat as well. Now I'm just going to begin straightening out the hair. This bob does come already straight, but of course you want it to be a little bit more sleek. So go ahead and take your flat iron and just flat iron the entire thing. Because I did part it over, I do have a little bit of a lump right there. That's how the whole parting would have looked if I would have never um, flat ironed the parting. Here I'm showing you that um, there is lace all the way around. So you can part it wherever you want to. I just did not bleach the knots on the remainder of the parting. Now I'm just going to speed it up a little bit just because I am just going around and flat ironing the rest of the hair. You can definitely see how huge of a transformation this hair is um, having. Even though it was great before, it's just becoming the bomb. Super duper sleek and beautiful. Now I'm going to take it and flip the um, hairline backwards and add some baby hair. I pulled out the baby hair that they already um, had made for the wig. Now I'm just going to use the pull method. It's a super duper lazy way of thinning out the hairline. And I'm just taking maybe three or four pieces of hair at a time and just yanking them out. Be careful if you try this at home because um, you can tear your lace doing so. Use tweezers 
um, you know, it'll make it easier to not make a mistake. But I'm kind of not necessarily in a rush, but I just don't have time for tweezers tonight. I'm just going to pull and pull and pull until I feel like it's thin enough that it won't be too lumpy when I make my baby hair. Now I'm going to take my hair shears and I'm just going to cut the baby hair a little bit shorter so that it's not too long. You can use um, a razor. That probably would be the best option. You can cut the hair shorter or you don't have to cut it at all. It's all up to you how you do your baby hair. It's still a little bit thick right there, so I wanted to pull a little bit more hair out. Now I'm gonna just take my edge control and a little brush, and I'm just gonna slick the baby hairs down really quick. Nothing special. I actually suck at baby hair. So, I mean, practice makes perfect. Eventually I'll be great at it, but for right now, this will do. Now I did bleach the knots, but I do want to add a little bit of powder just to make the parting pop a little bit more. If you don't want to add powder, you can also tweeze the um, parting and that way it will open up a little bit and that way you can see it a little bit better. But I thought it would be just best for me to go ahead and add a little bit of powder. It's definitely a bright powder. It's brighter than my skin, so use a powder that fits your skin tone a little bit better if you choose. Now I'm just ending it with a little bit of Sebastian Shapers Plus, just a holding spray. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on how I bleached the knots and slayed this really beautiful blunt bob. Um, this does come from Wow Ebony. So this is their 150% density India Remy hair pre-plucked 360 lace wig. Um, it is yakky straight, which hopefully you can get a feel for the texture um, through the camera. And obviously it's a blunt bob cut. The length on this hair is about 14 inches and I'm really feeling it. Um, it was easy to style um, the knots bleached beautifully and this wig is beautiful. If you're looking for a simple blunt bob, you know, at the 14 inch length, this is a go-to. Like I said, it's 150% density, so it's very full in the sense of, you know, there's no gaps or anything like that and you can't see. Um, through the lace or through the wig but at the same time um, you know it's thin enough to where you don't have that big chunky bob that just looks like annoying um, it's very natural looking even when I look in the mirror like the way the hair lays and goes it reminds me of my natural hair because it is a, a yakky texture um, wig everything about this hair was um, easy going it was easy to um, bleach the knots. The knots bleached in about 20 minutes without even putting foil. Um, I let it air dry overnight. It actually stayed um, in the air dry position for like two nights because I didn't get a chance to get to it last night like I wanted to. Um, and then coming down today and sitting and styling it with you guys. It was super easy. Um, it went ahead. Since it was already a straight wig, it was super easy to straighten. The texture of the hair, like I said, is yakky. Um, it's a soft yakky, so it feels super soft to the touch. Um, and it pretty much was ready to go before I even started straightening it. You guys seen in the video, it just needed to be a little bit, um, or it needed to be straightened a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit more sleek. Um, I did bleach the knots, and you guys seen that. Um, I don't think this is, I don't think this is a pre-parted wig, but it was parted. If that makes any sense, like it was already. Um, a part down the center maybe that's just how they styled it for um, you know so that it would be ready to go when I got to it but when you go around in the wig it is a 360 lace wig so you can part it wherever you want to um, because it was pre parted and I knew I just wanted to use it as a center blunt bob I only um, bleached like right here like maybe like a 4x4 four four, um, area on it just because I didn't feel the need to um, bleach all the way around and just cause more shedding because if you did not know when you bleach your lace it does cause the um, hair on the lace to shed a little bit more 
and you know i just wanted to shed as, as as least as possible or less as possible or as little as possible i can't talk tonight um i haven't had any tangling any shedding you guys see what it looked like before um i bleached it you guys see what it looked like when i just sat down to style it after it had been conditioned and air dried and you i see how sleek it is now not a huge change it does come you know pretty much ready to go but of course it does give it an extra um, to go ahead and um, add a little bit of heat. Other than that, I did add my Sebastian's Shapers Plus um, at the end. Just It's just a coating spray. And I don't know, I just have a, a bad habit, I guess you would say, of using a coating spray kind of as the way I finish when I style my hair. But it definitely did not need any shine or any moisture. Usually when I style my wigs, I use my Care Care Silken Sheen, but this wig didn't really need any um, oil or anything it's perfect as is so I hope you guys enjoyed um, this tutorial and this slay if you're interested check out the description bar I do have a link to this wig on Wild Ebony's website thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next one